This is MITI after today's trading. This is the short that I'm in now. Still looking for several down days into the low fives, possibly below five. Got another bull short pattern. This is a rebound from this 950 level. Came to 1478 today. Tomorrow's definitely the day I'll start entering this short position. I'm changing the scale, what this looks like here, by using the shift key or this button here to zoom in or to zoom out. I'd like to see it up here, this line here, which should be about $16. It looks like about $15.75 is that line right there. And that'd be a nice entry point to start entering a short position. Let's review some of the oil stocks that we saw moving, started to move this last couple weeks. Here's the oil price here at 118.15 the close. That affected the natural gas index as it did yesterday as well as today. So we can definitely see an, a run up on this one well in the upper 40s as possible as kind of a general target price. I'd be looking for over the next couple months. Look at a couple gas stocks that have been moving as well. NGS. Here's NGAS, which is a natural gas resources, definitely moving from $5 to 630 in the last week or so. Here's some of the large companies, ConocoPhillips, Chevron, ExxonMobil, and the pattern's clearly the same, that they're starting to turn up on the fast-moving moving average, which this is a 10, this is a 5-day moving average on this one on a 15 days the red so we're starting to see this turn up quite nicely here's GDP Goodrich Petrol we followed this one here in the last most of a month if you look at the low right there of forty dollars and hot today's high of fifty six eighty five a correction fifty eight forty five was the high today so that's a pretty nice move and looks like we'll head up here with oil Here's the XOI, which is an index on the Amex. Doesn't show as much as we just saw, saw on the individual stock of GDP. There's quite a few oil stocks looking like this same kind of pattern. Definitely this rise is going to move up with oil. And this is the rebound upward that I had expected a little earlier. This is the rebound I was looking for in the oil industry, in the oil sector. I was a little early, but... We are definitely seeing that now. Still like Goldman Sachs as a intermediate term buy that could last a couple months. The financials have been kind of pulling back a little bit. Here's That was uh, Wells Fargo, Bank America. Same pattern. Those two are kind of tied together in terms of the shape and pattern of the chart and how the Wall Street buys and sells those stocks. One more stock that I'm watching Rambus, just once in a while that stock can really run up. That stock usually runs up or down based on their legal proceedings when they win or lose a case. Or The stock I've been short for well over a week, and I've been attended to business real well there. It, it was down to 11.50. It looks like I should have closed that, but it looks kind of bullish. looks like it could be turning up. I think I'll probably close that the next day or two. Here's the Dow. Looks like we could start to be turning up here. And here's the NASDAQ composite. Still kind of flat. And this is really a quiet time during the year, the week before Labor Day. And people start to come back into the market, both as individual investors or traders, as well as some of the professionals will start to come in late next week, into the following week, uh, in mid-September. And for all the way through December, we're going to have quite a good volatility as usually that time of year from late September all the way through December and January is and all, really all the way into the spring is really quite nice in terms of volatility a lot of opportunities so keep your position size small use stop losses and be a little bit of in a preservative mode to hold on to your money in this next week or so talk to you tomorrow